Smoke seen for miles along the Space Coast. SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule is believed to be destroyed during a test this weekend. Now, questions linger about the future of a crewed SpaceX mission. News 6's James Barbero is pushing for answers about what went wrong. This morning, the Kennedy Space Center told us a NASA public affairs officer would talk to us about the accident over the weekend. Later, the Space Center withdrew that opportunity for an interview. So this afternoon, NASA and SpaceX still aren't answering questions about the smoke seen for miles Saturday at Cape Canaveral. The Crew Dragon, previously on pace to become the first spaceship to launch astronauts in Florida since the space shuttle, suffering a setback. It happened during a test. Something went wrong. We don't know the details about the accident, whether Dragon is a total loss, and what this might mean for the mission with astronauts. Next in line is pretty exciting. Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley were going to catch their ride to the International Space Station on the Dragon as soon as this summer. The good thing is it happened without people in the capsule. Is it likely that this accident pushes back the crewed missions on the Dragon? That'll be a determination for SpaceX and NASA, but I don't think it would be a surprise to anyone. A low-quality Twitter video from an unknown source appeared to show the dragon exploding. It was watched 300,000 times before it was removed. That video has not been verified by NASA or SpaceX, so we're not showing it. Our news partners at Florida Today captured the smoke from the beaches of Jetty Park, and a Space Center guest on a tour bus shared his picture with us as well. We have not seen any video from SpaceX or gotten any information about the state of the vehicle after this, what they're calling an anomaly, if it even still exists. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6. Now to read more about what's next for SpaceX after this weekend's incident, go to clickorlando.com space.